Hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode of this tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are gonna learn how we can use the inner blocks in our custom Gutenberg blocks. Now, the inner block meaning that the built-in, already built-in blocks that WordPress had. So, for our uh, call to action, what we need actually, we need a some uh, some kind of a button that's gonna perform the action for us. All right, but because uh, Gutenberg of the WordPress has already a beautiful uh, block like button if you search for it and if you can click on it and as you can see this we can add content here you know uh, we can set the alignments we can choose the version we can see the preview and we can do many more things from here as well and as you can see it has a uh, very good styling as well and we can use uh, choose in between from this fill or outline and it does have the color choosing option the background option the border areas and the linkable option so it is actually well crafted button component so why not we can uh, we use this one rather than making another one and creating those functionalities will be some kind of a headache so uh, we can take this advantage of this uh, pre-built component as well so in this episode we will learn how we can actually grab one of those components like this button and use it into our custom components okay so let's remove it from here and let's go back to our code, code editor so in order to use those things or the inner blocks we need to import it from the block editor because it is the asset of the block editor so we we need to say inner blocks like this and the next thing we need to do we need to create a constant and let the uh, wordpress know that what elements do we actually want to use so we can say uh, allowed uh, we can take like a uh, let's say allowed blocks and we are gonna make it uh, ev every word cap every letter capital because this is the standard for a constant so inside the array we need to say that we are going to use from the core button all right so this is how actually we can access or we can use kind of a namespace thing for those components so we are saying here we just want to use the button from the core okay so let's copy this constant because we are gonna need it and at the edit method we need to add something into the return statement so let's add the inner blocks uh, inner blocks like this and it is also self closing tag and inside that we need to pass the allow blocks allowed blocks and inside that we just need to say the constant here so that uh, we know or the wordpress knows that this is uh, these are the blocks that we are we want to use into our custom blocks and into the save method we also need to use something so in order to render those inner, um, inner blocks we need to use like uh, inner blocks dot content as before we used in the rich text but we no, do not need to say anything else from here all right so this is how we actually can use our uh, our wordpress pre-built button component into our custom component so let's refresh or actually we need to remove it because our uh, okay it is actually appeared so sometimes it does some error problem so let's hit refresh we're not taking any chances okay so this is actually the button area so let's remove this one okay this is the previous button so this is the area uh, in where we can add our button so this place has been created for our coding structure so we can click on here and we can say subscribe okay 
and also we can align these things and it is also pre-built for uh, from the cast uh, wordpress uh, gutenberg block so we can say align left so it will be sync with our alignment so, and we can hit update now okay so if we see on the page though it is also coming nicely as well so this is very beneficiary in in terms of development because or we can use already those pre-built things in our components so that can make our things more robust as well all right so this is how actually you can use these uh, pre-built components in our uh, custom blocks as well so into the next episode what i will show you as we click on this subscribe button as you can see there are some settings for these custom buttons in order in order to change the stylings or the color or the back background and all sorts of things so uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, give the user the ability to change uh, the color of this title and also of this content as well and we can add some more settings let's see how, what we can do so see you in the next video